Okay, we have some more Halo news we gotta talk about, guys. Our favorite boy out here who's got all the leaky little information. Rebs Gaming recently came out with some information. He posted a live stream and as he kind of summarized the whole thing in this tweet. So let's go over this for you guys so you stay in the loop. Just want to say, guys, if you like these inf informational videos, make sure to tap like and subscribe. But let's get right back into it. All right, so this is his key reports from his live stream that he posted talking about this insider information it really is kind of more of a culmination of like things we already kind of knew and then kind of just packaged it all together into one big report kind of thing saying the key points are the leadership issues began with halo 5 which kind of makes sense as a lot of the old guard of 343 industries was mainly during halo 5 and they had a lot different you can see like the mentality between halo 4 and 5 when it came to the development of the game definitely changed right there but the big thing also to take into consideration is that like yeah most of the leadership involved with halo 4 or 5 are no longer at the studio uh that was said that former developers who were laid off tried to persuade leadership to switch to unreal engine before during and after infinite's production that makes a lot of sense too this also lines up with what we cover from will waltz uh, talked about we've covered it previously on the channel we'll cover that a little bit later in this video Talking about how they're like, we just switched to Unreal, man. We just do it, you know? And it's been a long time coming, really. It, it really has. And also saying that a new leadership greenlit the switch to Unreal Engine after the devs who fought for it got laid off. So, like, <laughs> it's kind of like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know, we heard all about the leaks about Halo switching to Unreal before these layoffs even happened. This was kind of more like throughout 2022 when we started hearing these rumors about maybe switching over to unreal and stuff like that and cause you know if you guys followed the channel back then we talked about it a ton on here and it really did cause a lot of issues and you know some even some beef between like other news reporter people content creators as well so it was a big deal that like hearing halo potentially switching over to unreal there people were thinking halo infinite was going to just switch from slip space to unreal which i was like okay that's a little much that's a little crazy to think about especially mid development mid seasonal updates mid live service of halo infinite at the time to just get up and switch like that it just wasn't going to happen but that's kind of the nature of leaks and rumors that like some things you'll hear that that are true but maybe within the right context might not sound quite right uh so that's probably why you kept hearing all stuff about like unreal engine switch back then but of course it wasn't until we had that jason schreier report go out that really kind of solidified that like yeah they're switching to unreal this is back in early of 23 now we know officially that yes unreal engine is actually happening back onto the tweet here though let's go back into it saying 343's former dev team outside of the mcc team disliked new leadership due to lack of communication collaboration and clarity on everything now i'm not quite sure this, I'm not th i think context of timing definitely matters a lot when it comes to this really just because like it wouldn't really make all sense to like really fully know like what the heck is happening with halo uh, especially throughout 2023 it was like all of last year was basically 343 now halo studios just trying to figure out like what the heck are we going to do right bonnie ross left back in uh was it november of 2022 almost all people all people in higher up management positions have left 343 now halo studios that they probably just don't even know themselves so, but maybe you know this is something that we've heard previously about the development of Halo Infinite as a whole that trying that everyone was kind of like in their own like separate little silos almost in a way and cross team communication wasn't really there but they had kind of like this older kind of style of communication when it came to like how they would develop everything let's pull up the old school like digital whiteboard to show you what I'm talking about so say like you know this is your development pipeline right this is where the start of the idea is here in the end product where it gets shipped out and everyone's happy and went out to serve people right but you have like the concept team you have to art it right you got the box it out right with some other kind of stuff for for making like a map specifically right then you got like the audio team here uh you have the art team or you know different kind of teams right different departments here and basically each idea needed to go through this one then this one then this one right but Let's say it would get all its way to like the art team, right? And or like the, you know, whatever team that needed to review it or something like that. And it'd be like, oh, we found a bug. And so it ends up getting sent all the way back over to here, which then restarts the process again. 
then get up to here and then like oh we found another bug needs to go back over this way restart the process so everyone gets their okay so this is what they were kind of talking about like how they're over the older style of making halo games now which definitely is up to 343 how they really want to do that um one thing one team to really keep in mind of how they really change how they develop games and what actually be huge was end up being hugely successful was cd project red in a dice presentation discussion they talked about how they changed how they made games right here is a perfect example where basically the idea is that instead of having like this typical structure like i just showed you like which is typical of what what halo infinite and 343 just did uh they made smaller teams that could pretty much do everything and really just kind of made like a much more condensed version of each team you can see people kind of like wearing different hats kind of thing but basically man so then like you had one guy who did the art one guy who did the block outs one guy did the audio kind of thing and they would all be on individual teams to then be able to efficiently like just talk to each other and communicate a lot more effectively and then able to create their part of the game that they wanted to make like a level or like a mission or something like that compared to having that all these people all together in one place uh one development flow like i showcased earlier could really affect how the game is actually made and they were able to break up into these little individual strike teams to then make their parts of the game and then have it all put together and it ended up working and you know uh, the phantom liberty dlc that they recently released was a huge success for cd project right and showed like how they can completely change their development flow and still develop high quality products that this was like a, a dlc that completely saved the game uh really basically made solidified it as like a good game that people really enjoyed which is fantastic so it's depending on like the timing of this you know communication issues I'm hoping things are better now as they are putting the teams together, right? Like they just recently just selected like a creative art or a creative director when it comes to the next Halo projects. This also could just be communication about like how they are and maybe bringing in some more teams, right? To work on Halo, hence Halo Studios, right? Plural. And so there might be some more works with teams. This could also play into the leaks and rumors that we heard earlier about like Halo moving the, or should say 343, now Halo Studios being much more of a central hub to kind of connect all these external teams together. But it just kind of depends how they want to do it. Uh, a big thing here that they talked about was saying, my source confirms the negative comments by former senior animator Will Walls, which we talked about earlier. I'll showcase what the comments were about current leadership before the 23rd the 2023 layoffs are true and also that this doesn't mean halo studios current dev team has issues with leadership now uh what's basically saying is because will walls came out and uh he uh he had some smoke the the lay down i guess is the way to put it out like I, I i'm not a gen z i'm sorry okay but this is what he said here Saying like I worked on a team of the top performing industry animator for 13 years over at 343. Since I do not re recommend working at 343 Industries now Halo Studios, it's acting like calling it Comcast when it's you know it's like calling yourself Xfinity when you're really you're Comcast and hoping nobody notices the difference. Steer clear and stay out of there. It's now not worth it. Feel free to you know message him privately about this kind of stuff. Talking about how they are limiting creativity, leadership is cancer, like. Well, throughout, you know, all gas, no brakes, no stops. Like, he just went full on, like, I don't like these people. I don't like how 343 runs things. And it kind of lines up with what we've seen previously about uh, Halo. Uh, a lot of, the you know, I've been following Halo news for, oh, freaking, like, almost 10 years now at this point. So, you know, I, I, I've picked up on a few trends, okay, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, if, you, if you just do a quick little Google search here, like I typed in like 343 Industries, poor communication. Of course, there's all the AI answers, but it uses like Glassdoor and Wikipedia as sources for the information, saying lack of transparency about the game updates, inconsistency on messaging from the fans, and uh, delay on messaging and stuff like that. Where basically every time I keep hearing from just peep developers I've talked to directly, and also whenever anybody ever leaves 343, now Halo Studios, uh, that they keep saying like the stuff that they work on is a lot of fun they like the work the working with the people in their teams is great but upper management leadership kind of need to get their head out of their ass is kind of what i've generally been hearing most of the times when it comes to how it is working at 343 which does seem to line up but of course now pretty much 
all the old leadership is gone now. If you wanted, you know, hashtag fire three four three and all that kind of stuff, like you pretty much got it, dude. Because like anyone who was there previously that would be in any kind of important position to make decisions are just gone. They're not at this studio anymore. So I'm not, while I'm not disregarding the past with three four three and now calling themselves Halo Studios, that like things are completely different because it's a name change. No, because it's still Microsoft. You still got the 18-month contract rules, and it's been more important to see how Halo Studios works around the confines of what Microsoft puts on the development teams and their studios to then make a product that people want to engage with, right? Uh, we were really close with that when it came to Halo Infinite, but we just couldn't quite get there as the ship was still being built while it was running on, you know, and sailing around. So, yeah, it was... It was a bit of a mess, man. But uh, for the most part, though, I think that the uh, stuff that Revs was talking about on Twitter here was pretty accurate. Like this is, but again, like I said, like this, like I said earlier in the video, like this is all kind of stuff that we've heard previously, and now it's all kind of packaged together into one sizable bite, right? That you can take in and really understand. Um, but Will Walls, man, like that guy had some heat. He even has another. He posted another thing about Halo, which I was just like, damn, dude, you just keeps going in at the Microsoft right now. And he recently said this, that uh, as a lifelong fan of hashtag Halo and Bungie, I really want it to be in good hands. I know it's really silly long shot, but I wish that certain affinity could take over the Halo franchise entirely. <laughs> Just like get 343 and Halo Studios out of the whole thing. Even left it with a hashtag save Halo like this guy. Maybe he is like one of those Twitter guys that just you maybe with a fake name just to you know be a number company bad kind of people. But I mean this guy was in the trenches for 13 years over a 343. So yeah, he he knows the ins and outs a little bit. So I mean there's a lot to take in consideration, but uh for the most part from what I saw from this report from Revs that it does seem pretty accurate from what we've seen and heard over the years and a lot of trends I keep seeing when it comes to Halo Studios and the, its history as 343. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed this video, made it this far, make sure you leave a green heart. Let me know who the real ones are and watch the all the way through. Like and subscribe to the video and, you know, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.